KATC TV3, Acadiana's News Channel at 10. I do believe he, he did brainwash her. I mean, it was told to me that he is manipulative and he would have done it, brainwashed her. Tonight, we're hearing from the family of the Portberry teenager who has been missing since last week. Thanks for joining us. The FBI is now assisting in that investigation. 15 year old Damiana Spell was last seen Thursday outside of Portberry High School. Police believe she got into a car with 47 year old Corey Shane Dizatel. They're believed to be in a silver 2003 Honda Civic similar to that one. Justice Henderson joins us live in studio with our top story. And Justice, you spoke with Spell's family today. What are they saying about the circumstances of her disappearance? Jim, they think she willingly left with Shane Desitel, who they say is a family friend. While they don't know why, excuse me, while they don't think she's in immediate danger, they are begging for her to come back home. It's for a missing person, it's her sister. Jerry Crater lives in Crowley, miles away from where her sister Damiana Spell was last seen. But she's hoping getting Damiana's face out there will bring her home. He probably has her believing that she's safe with him, that she's like madly in love with him. Crater says her sister got off the bus at Portberry High School, walked across the street, and got into the car with Shane Desitel, who was a family friend. He become really good friends with like my mom and dad. Um, they even got like a deer lease together because they were really close friends. So uh, that's how they knew him. And then Damiana started babysitting for his granddaughter, and then come to find out there was no granddaughter there for her to really be babysitting. Crater says the family friend would give her sister money every weekend, which made her parents think she was babysitting. But all along, she believes her sister was in a relationship with Desitel. She probably left on her free will, but I mean, I don't think he would harm her in any way, but he is said to be aggressive. Crater says there have been sightings of her sister and that gives her hope, but she won't have any peace until her little sister is reunited with her family. I will keep fighting. I will keep looking. I mean, I will, even if it's months from now, I will still share, you know, the news posts on Facebook until we find her and she comes home. Now, law enforcement has confirmed that even if Spell went on her own free will, Shane Desitel will still be facing charges for contributing to the delinquency of a juvenile because they left without permission or consent of a parent. In the studio, Justice Henderson, KTC, TV3.